Tuyết So you got your scout <laughs> to figure out where your opponents are. So you can see these are like really big main bases. You have like two bases here. Everyone has their scout out checking things out. And yeah, the civilian is not invincible. And you get a worker of each type. So this is going to be kind of crazy. Uh, the mineral, th these are all double stacked minerals. So this mine's super fast. We've got some bases in the center. I haven't played this map. I haven't seen it. I only talked about it with the map creator minerals. So big cheers to him for making this for us. To try some free for all. <laughs> Excuse me, some free for alls. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's like we could go around and say what races everyone got, but everyone gets every race. Basically, I guess we have no starting hatcheries, but honestly, on a map like this, where you have a drone, you don't want to start on creep. It just screws up the way your buildings will work. So it's better to just make a hatchery later and pick up with this. So yeah, I think it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. What race would you want to start with here? Like, I guess you could rush up to siege tanks. Like, maybe Terran is the best at defending mid-game while you kind of explode with the other two races. That would be my guess. Gotta wait a little bit for this to start up. See, look at that. Hatchery going up. I love it. I love it. Honestly, you should build a Nexus pretty quickly, too. Probes are pretty good. Cannon. Factory rushing up here. This guy doesn't seem to understand that he could have made a Nexus here instead of another command center. <laughs> yeah, maybe starting with Protoss would be better then, because mineral-wise, you do better with that. a big map, but I think hopefully what will happen here is because everyone has three races and can make like really insane armies, uh, they should be attacking each other. Like it should be a pretty active game. Sometimes when you play free-for-alls, uh, they get a little bit turtly. The team free-for-alls have done a lot better because you have a teammate, so you kind of get like this really strong army together very quickly and then you get to attack. But yeah, I think there's like this macro phase that's going on because the map is kind of big. Goodbye. Goodbye, civilian. I think that's the first one to die. But yeah, after that, you should should see a bit more. Okay, this guy's just going cannons. Baron Ifrit. Magic card. <laughs> okay. Only build cannons with your P. I like it. What is the ultimate composition that someone can make? If you get 200 supply from each race. I think it's something like mass battle cruisers with some science vessels, mass carriers with arbiters, 
and then a defiler. Yeah, the assimilator, of course. Why wouldn't you ever build an assimilator? That's always going to be better. It's kind of funny. Like, I don't even think of a lot of these things, but definitely true. Now, this guy actually... I don't know if he realizes that he has a drone and SCB that he can make their stuff with. It's making me kind of sad. Hydromedic, that's a good idea, guy in the chat. No one's actually getting into tech of another race. Like, we see that... It's like, where's the spawning pool? Okay? No one has all three techs yet. All three races built. We have maximum two right now for anybody. How is Saltosis not, not figuring this out that he needs to make a hatchery in a command center? This is killing me. This looks so weird, doesn't it? Okay, finally, we have someone teching up with a second race. This is honestly, like, hurting my soul. I, <laughs> I, okay, finally! Finally, Baron Efreet here, making his command. Okay, we got the lair. Some actual tech aspire, nice. Muta tank, that sounds pretty strong. Stargate. Okay, I like it. Some things blue. That's like uh, those are your your workers that you spawned with that are extra. Look at this. <laughs> this looks so weird. So we got the Mutalus Harassment coming in against mass tanks. Yeah, this Terran player going mass mutas after his tanks. I like it. It's good stuff. My Felix. Oh, he's actually played. He's played some free brawls before. He, he does really well. He's won before in the free brawls. Man, that's brutal. Yeah, 
I don't think he has enough here. Brown gonna get a kill, perhaps. Alright, this guy's gonna be going carrier uh, BC, so that's gonna be fun. Well, I guess he actually is gonna hold it off with his... ...his galls. He's getting uh, irradiated, it looks like. actually going a little bit more slow pace than I thought. But I guess their supplies are just now really getting up. You know what? This is hilarious. I think he's doing this on purpose, Saltosis. He does really well in the E3 calls, so he plays quite a few. Um, but... Like, he's only playing Protoss here. <laughs> uh, he can break this. Yeah, that's a good storm. Dude, he needs, like, one more hit on each of these tanks. Come on. Good at radiate. All right, so I'm like uh, Price Storner I'm going to be dying here pretty quickly. He actually plays quite a few as well. Does pretty well. <laughs> All right. GG. Thanks, Price Storner. Hmm. Alright, orange is getting huge. This finger roll guy? Damn. Covert ops? Alright, alright. Look at Saltosis here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I can't, I, because I'm an observer, I can't actually type to them. There's turrets and cannons living side by side. What is this madness? Looks so weird. <laughs> so 
five players left. Saltosis actually has the most supply, and he's only playing Protoss. Two upgrades and all, but Orange se Finger Roll seems to be doing the best. He's got, like, ridiculous macro going on. He's got so many bases, it's insane. This guy's going Carrier. He has Mass Cannons. That's good. This guy, Mass Tanks, and uh, Mutas, as we've seen. Mm, I don't think he'll quite break him. I think he has enough. Maybe he kills, like, one base. Wouldn't that be a twist of Saltosis all this time with models? He has his single probe stuck here. Oh no, he's got another right there, okay. Got the contain up, but mass wraith coming. That's funny, if you have all three races, why would you go wraith? That's like the worst flying unit. Go Muta. Go scout. Lurker What in the fuck? Never seen that. More than 20 years of StarCraft. Never seen that. Look at these tanks take- these things take no damage. No damage! He's been shot three times by a tank. He's at 125. Oh my god. Dark Swarm Siege Tank. He's literally tank pushing with Dark Swarm. I never saw tanks that want to be under Dark Swarm before. Yeah, those aren't gonna do anything. It's Dark Swarm, bro. So funny. There you go. What else we got going on here? Saltosis still refuses to make any other tech. Finger roll continues to take the entire map. He's got so many bases, it's insane. His money's still low. We're finally getting over 200 supply. Purple guy, Mr. Hawk, has a Hydralisk. <laughs> okay. Devour, Siege, Devour, and Mech. Okay. I don't know what those are there for, but okay. They're killing observers.
Wraith's actually doing a great job for him. Just doesn't really have much income left anymore. Ask Ghost, okay. Oh, sorry, giant Protoss army. There's a defiler here. So random. Alright, let's check what this guy's up to. Just massing carrier. He has a siege tank line. He has a hatchery. Okay, arbiters now. There you go. Two attack. Eh, not the best upgrades for this late into the game. I wonder if those are the two lurkers that were defense matrix. <laughs> Where are these lurkers? Hmm. This map is really big. It's hard to keep track of everything. Ultra medic power. <laughs> it's a great idea, guy in the chat. The only thing stronger than Ultra Devour. How about just Medic Defiler Ultra? That would be pretty sick. Damn. EMP and Plague. That, like, brings shit down to one health. Some 3-2 upgrades. Brown, still doing really well. I think orange is gonna maybe take it. But I could see yellow, who's just been sitting here the whole time, possibly coming in and cleaning everybody up. What am I looking at here? Oh, he's repairing it. I thought he was attacking it. How the hell did that get hurt? I want to see this guy actually move out. He's got no money left. He needs to get out there and do something. what was going on. He was attacking it himself.
Bling Seed Shank doesn't seem right. Saltos is starting to fall off a little bit there. I guess he's got these two bases, though, so he should be able to macro back up, even though he's lost his army. a weird thing. Tanks and Zerglings fighting together here. Okay, he's finally moving, guys. Baron free. It's finally time bring the carrier fleet out. I think he has the strongest army. Well, some of these guys have a defiler. So, like, anyone with a defiler technically has the strongest army, but then the guy with all the carriers would be second. So he's got the second strongest army. It's kind of funny. We've seen, like, um... Okay, so... Saltosis is playing only Protoss. This guy's uh, finger roll is playing uh, Zerg Terran. Here we have. Yeah, it, this is really just Terran, to be honest. Like, <laughs> he made some infested Terrans and stuff. This one is. Oh, God. He has an Arbiter now. He's gone Seed Shank Muta for most of the game. But has, uh, has Arbiter now. And this guy is just defensive Siege Shanks in a mass carrier. Yes. <laughs> oh, you can kill everything. This is so weird. <laughs> uh, one crackling finishes the Nexus. <laughs> Oh, that's so standard. That's so exactly how it yeah, how it goes. <laughs> Alright, Saltos is gonna get in on the carrier action. Zero zero lings. Eh. I want to see a recall on Siege to tanks. 
Like, you can recall tanks that are in siege mode. Watch this. Watch this. I hope he does it. Yep. See? Isn't that crazy? this guy is just sitting here is he genius or terrible that's the question like huh oh see guys i told you this is the strongest army until it meets a defiler there's a defiler with like eight lings under here and it can kill everything here look at that look at that This is sick. Taking the middle now. Dude. Recall on siege tanks is so crazy. Alright, I think purple is very close to dead now. I don't think he can do anything. He's got, like, no gas. Okay, we got mass carrier here. Still his original drone and SCV. Look, he's just sending them to mine. That's all they are to him. It's two additional miners. Infested Terran recall. That's a great idea, guy in the chat. Kill anything you want. It's like an instant nuke. A bit harder to get pulled off, right? <laughs> All right, purple is dead. Mr. Hawk, thank you for playing. GG. All right, so now we have four superpowers left. All right, we have Saltosis, the red, on the right side of the map. He was fighting against Orange, who was a bit too strong with the zerg Terran combo. Uh, so he lost his army a lot of times, but he's got a lot of bases. He's making carriers. Maybe, maybe there's a comeback here, but he seems least likely right now to win. And we've got Brown in the top left. Uh, again, we're looking at mostly Terran Zerg, but he does have Arbiters out, so he basically got the best Protoss has to offer other than Carriers. He's got a lot of the map. He's looking pretty good still. But then we got Yellow, who's got a million billion Arbiters and Carriers. So the only thing that can stop all this would most certainly be... Oh, this is so silly. What the fuck am I even looking at? Um, the only thing that can really stop this is Defilers, which Orange has a lot of. So, yeah, I guess looking at this, I think Orange... I think, uh, as far as player skill goes, Orange is pretty good. Red, obviously, is pretty good. Brown is doing well. I think Yellow is... He's got his strat, and he's he's doing it right. But he hasn't really done anything this game, so it's kind of hard to judge exactly how good he is or is not. <laughs> it's it's hard, you know, you're not seeing him like run around with units or anything. He's just he's made a strong comp, he's just sitting there. Yeah, it is uh, stasis is the longest spell in the game along with lockdown. You see this? What am I looking at? I like how they still wiggle inside there. <gasps> oh, another tank recall. Oh, I heard a nuke. Nuclear launch detected. Oh, 
Oh shit, we missed it. Who's on the carriers? Dude, he only has four carriers left. Damn, I'm sorry you missed it, guys. That hurts. He spent the entire game getting those. Alright, Saltosis actually has a really healthy amount of carriers now. Look at that. Up to nine already. Remaking Fleet Beacon. What is Yellow doing here? Okay, we just got news that I did, in fact, ban this map maker yesterday in in a moment of uh, maybe slightly clouded judgment. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and unban him. <laughs> All right. All right, he's been unbanned. <laughs> All right, there we go. The map maker is welcome back. That was a great nap, he says. <laughs> that is too funny. <laughs> Sorry. Wasn't my fault. Wasn't my fault. My judgment may have been slightly clouded, but that's all. How are you guys liking this uh, this map so far? This is the first time that we're playing it, but how do you like the uh, the layout, the three different races? People love it. <laughs> Gifted sub to him, I love it. Amazing, oh my God. You see this? He recalled this one in, it got frozen. Recalling another. This is crazy. Dude, he can just attack with his carriers. Go, Baron Efree, go! Another one! <laughs> this is such a good move! Yeah, I think Yellow is going to eventually die here. He just, he doesn't really have production. His, I guess he's still mining a little bit, but only four probes. But yeah, he's pretty, he's pretty dry overall. Saltosis has a very good fleet. Stasis! Nuclear launch detected. Oh. Found it. Wrecked. Oh my god, that's a lot of scourge. Okay, so, yeah, I would say yellow, yellow's pretty out. Like, he's still here, he can still influence the game a little bit. But, it, like, before I thought he might be able to win, here I think he's, I don't think he can win. I don't think there's any way. Now, we have Saltosis here. 
He's got a lot of carriers. Okay, Devourers. No upgrades, though. Uh, we do have a pretty good bank for Finger Roll, but he doesn't have that much gas is the problem. Oh, okay. Well, I forgot. He does have Defiler Zone. Now he's playing the carriers, so all he has to do is wait for that to kick in. <laughs> and then go wreck it all. But he actually didn't get upgrades, to be fair, right? Like, look at the stats on the carriers. Plus two attack, plus two plasma, and of course they have base four armor. Kind of hilarious. He just, he needed a lot more. Saltosis, I think, might end up taking it. Although, my Felix actually has a lot of bank. It doesn't have great upgrades. He's mostly tank arbiter at this point. Scourge Recall? That's an amazing idea. That would never be good. I love it. Okay, so... These few 3-3 three, three Goliaths are going to kill everything. This is kind of hilarious. GG, Saltosis is dead, and that means it's basically brown versus orange. All right, guys, who wins, brown or orange? So we got 3-3 three, three on the brown tanks, 0-0 zero, zero on his Zerg units. We got 3-3 three, three on orange uh, Zerg units and on his mech. Bank, though, finger roll almost broke. I feel it's more supply and rich. I'm going with brown. I think brown's going to take it. Maybe not. <laughs> okay, hold on. Brown is coming for him now. He's looking for his location. No! I'm still going with brown, guys. Well, that's hilarious. Well, that would be so funny if he disconnected right now. 
Well, it's good to know you can't even kill uh, defy or uh, Arbiters with Scourge. This shouldn't be allowed. Whoa! Look at that! That's what we need, more cannons. I like how an Arbiter does three damage for Ling, that's nice. You know, if my Felix would just go capital ships, I think he'd win, right? Basically not mining now, right? What is actually left that's being mined from? Okay, we have a few SCVs here. A few patches there, but no one's really mining. Plagued cloak tanks. That's good. Finger roll really doesn't have anything left. I think Brown just just takes this. But it should be ending now. Oh my god. What the fuck? Defense Matrix Zerglings? Guys, a Defense Matrix is worth so much more than a Zergling. This doesn't even make sense. It's like if we have an RPG and we give our best sword and shit to the weakest enemy. It's like, what? What am...
Alright, well, this guy's finally mining again, I guess. My Felix way ahead. Finger roll? He has, like, all the minerals that, minerals that are left on the map. Another recall with Mass Siege tanks. <laughs> I love that so many of his recalls have a single Goliath in them for some reason. Oh, that's hilarious. I can't believe this guy's still in the game. <laughs> Barony Freet, why are you still in the game, man? <laughs> well, I mean, I guess we got five Arbiters, five Carriers. Okay, why not? Some Siege Shanks. He's re-expanding. Yeah. All right, I take it back. I take it back. He's got some stuff going on. Honestly, he's, he's stronger right now than Finger Roll is. I think my Felix is still stronger. Maybe he wins. Maybe he wins. my god, he's gonna kill this Muta. That tank is still gonna be alive. 22 kills. And it continues. Oh, he finally cleared it. Look at that. Okay, so... I do want to mention... Based on what I see on the map right now... If a good player took these carriers and arbiters and went for an attack, Baron Efreet would win. He a actually, think about it for a second, right? Like, these guys have almost only ground armies. The thing is, we don't know how good Baron Efreet is. Like, He's just sitting here, he's kind of half trolling, and you can tell he's playing with one hand because he's got 50 APM. So he's just sitting there like this. He's playing like this. Hmm, what should I do next? I'll make some more carriers and cannons. You can definitely get A rank with this APM. Wait, that's zero zero lings attacking a three three gall. That takes a thousand years to kill it. That was crazy. A massling flood. Orange took this base, by the way, which mines crazy fast.
High Felix is actually out of money now. I guess he's got a little bit of mining still going on, though. This is an incredibly long game. Sorry about that. This is still a pretty crazy game. I love that this DT has 22 kills. Okay. Where's our carriers at? Spread around. Okay, I think we are finally nearing the end here of this hour-long epic. So funny three armor against plus hero attack. It's so crazy. Everything looks like hero units. All right, what is killing me is that yellow is not doing anything. He actually has the best army right now, right? Please, yellow, go. Please. Okay, this should be the final push. Orange has definitely... It looks like orange has brown. Brown only has mutas left with plus one attack. That's like basically everything that's going on for him. Just a handful of 3-3 three, three Gauls can take that out. 
And so that's going to leave our yellow guy that just refuses to move. Yellow honestly reminds me of uh, a lot of my opponents on the ladder. Lower APM than everyone. Sits here the entire game doing absolutely nothing. Just produces some overpowered units. Trolls and bad manners during the game and then wins. It's basically like my ladder games is this guy, Incarnate. He's honestly done nothing. He just He's just like, oh yeah, Protoss has good units. Okay. Let me talk some shit and have lower APM. <laughs> See? It's hard to... You, you can't... You don't even know what he's doing. You're like, what? He has, why isn't he using him? Why is he only sitting there? He can end the game, I think. Jesus, this guy is killing me. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is ridiculous. Finger roll has a lot of supply. He has defilers. It's mostly defiler ling. Two Goliaths. I mean, you put Dark Swarm over the Goliaths, I guess that they beat the carriers infinitely. Yeah. Orange can win this. He just needs to get rid of the tanks. If you throw down three Dark Swarms and just send all your Lings in, I think you clear this. Oh, you gotta throw down your Dark Swarm first. Oh, this is terrible. This is... come on. Oh! Pops one. Stasis Carrier Cannon Tank. <laughs> he figured it out. This guy broke it. Damn. That didn't do anything. Well, three arms. I mean, I guess that's something. Felt like it did nothing. Dude, come on. What are the rings maps? Use arbs a lot, so I'm decent with them. Is this a Lord of the Rings use map settings player? The guy made five five tanks to turtle with. Don't forget he made 15 cannons before he made any tech this game. Just sat here the whole game. My god. Something else.
Oh my god. Oh, he's loading Goliaths into Overlords. That's so disgusting. Imagine the sharp edges of the Goliath inside of your Overlord body. No, thank you. Okay, we're we're I'm calling this over in three minutes. I've awakened you god. Kill me. This guy doesn't get it. There's actually, there's like nothing out here. He is mining. Well... Nice plague. Alright, we're about to declare finger roll the winner. Oh, it is. <laughs> yes! Another one! One more right there! There you go! Thank you! Oh, he can't see the tank. Okay, this is over. There we go. All right, your winner for the first time on this map. Finger roll. My fucking game froze. The game was too long. Oh, there it is. It came back. All right. Big thank you to Mr. Minerals uh, from BroodWarMaps.net for making this map for us to play on. That was cool. Give him some love in the chat. Uh, guys, if you enjoy the map, uh, let me know. We can definitely play that again another day. Absolutely not today. <laughs> That was cool. That was, uh, I think it's a really cool idea to have all three races available. 